Good afternoon, everyone. Seems to be a push in the news lately about this geophysical research letter, Global Analysis of Climate Change Projection Effects on Atmospheric Rivers. I highlighted in the yellow there the percentages based on the models that they think these arc storms or atmospheric compression events are going to increase over today's rates. And as you look down the chart, you can see the very minimal that they're forecasting out is going to be 25 to 30 percent as high as 300 percent or three times more rain and more ferocity from these events pushing forward. And it's almost unusual at the timing while this is making the news media rounds across the planet. They're talking about massive superstorms, massive super floods, graphics showing you how these arc rivers, especially through California, West Coast, U.S., but they're pervasive across the entire planet. And there is a ramp up in winds as well. And I just want to take you through the last two weeks of events of atmospheric rivers increasing along with global wind patterns that are far above the norm. Starting down here in the southern hemisphere, the largest wave ever recorded, massive 23.8 meter, 78 foot tall wave near Campbell Island, that is south of New Zealand, toward Antarctica. And you'll see at the bottom of the slide there where I highlighted in blue, this new record broke the old record that was set in Tasmania in 2012. Now looking at the massive flood, beyond flood list, this is what's coming off the watchers. Australia, cold blast, record rainfall, massive floods in Germany, which we'll look at. Dams bursting in Kenya. That's just too much water and it's way above the norm to have dams breaking. Afghanistan. Looking at at least 150,000 people displaced by these floods. British Columbia, record flooding after snowpack. Second dam breaks over in Kenya. Yemen with the cyclone. Oman as well. Deserts are flooded. Flash floods in Paris that went down into the tube station, the underground, the uh, subway. Flooded those stations. Foot deep of hail in the middle of the city. Got Burundi now as well. And then severe floods in Afghanistan. These are places that are generally drier up in the desert areas. Oman, Yemen, Afghanistan, not places you associated with massive flooding. And then we have evacuations after a landslide in Lake Tahoma, North Carolina. Another dam break. What is with these dam breaks going on? Catastrophic flooding. We saw this. In Maryland, and now we have these absolutely earth-shattering 14 inches of rain in 24 hours in Karnataka in India. So let's take a look at what the towns are looking like at the moment. Record-breaking monsoon. Wide out here for you in Mangalore. I want to take you down to Karnataka anyway. I traveled down there early 90s. I went to this place called Hampi. Here we go. This is the ancient city that's out. Part of it is along this river that is flooding at the moment. So you have to wonder what's going to be happening with the ruins here. I know a lot of it's up on the hill. The entire area is just like millions and millions and millions of boulders. If you like bouldering, this is your place because everywhere you're climbing, you're finding sadhus inside the, the caves that are formed by boulders. And then also there's just temples all over the boulders and strewn everywhere you go. There's something amazing to go look at if you're into that kind of traveling. Humpy, you can feed an elephant an orange and it taps you on the head for good luck. This is the same place. But it's going to be flooded because of the river as well. Now staying over in India, unusually intense thunderstorms, dust storms, lightning ravaging in India... Hundreds and hundreds of people are killed by lightning strikes this week. And even NASA, Earth Observatory, quotes it as, the intensity seems to be anomalous. They had about 40,000 lightning strikes in April, and then you see what's happening in May. And with that, there's going to be disruptions in agriculture. You're going to be responsible for growing some of your own food again. I've listed everything below in the description box, all the links for tonight's video, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet, trueleafmarket.com. That's the Adapt 2030 link. You'll find that below. They have an amazing array of sprouting seeds and just any vegetables that you'd like to grow, plants, herbs as well. Now staying on with unusual 
Happenings from the sky. This is Turkey. This is how deep the hail is on May 28th, just a few days back. Severe Weather EU really has a good rundown inside their Twitter feed of what's going on with floods and unusual anomalies around Europe. Also taking a look at Germany. This is the third year in a row it's been flooding there with this kind of magnitude and intensity. You know, countryside villages, that's one thing. But when you're looking at downtown cities, this is quite another when it's this level of flooding. You know they have incredible drainage systems. It's Germany after all. It's precision engineering. And when you're getting this much water coming in flooding, then we have an Italy flooding as well. Now I understand that's right next to a mountain, so maybe something's pooling up there as it's flowing down. But unusual. Let's take a look over at Elliott City. You know, this has been making the news across the United States. There's a plethora of details on this already, but this is the second year in a row it's happened there, and it's even higher this year. The water's deeper. So I also want to bring you over to another anomalous event with winds in our sky. Toxic salt storm engulfing parts of Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. Now this dust is from the Aral Sea area and contains nitrogen fertilizers that's been gathering of the sea for dozens of years. That's that sea that dried out where you see those boats just in the middle of the desert, what it looks like, the Aral Sea. Here on the satellite map, you can see it's pretty much just to the far north up there where that huge dust cloud is coming off. Right above Turkmenistan, you can see the border area there. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the area in the Aral Sea where they're saying all this dust is blowing from, creating toxic salt slash pesticide, herbicide, airborne particles, burning your skin, your eyes, your lungs. Oh, what a great day to be out. And at the same time, the power of a dust storm another day, ripping through Edan, 112 kilometer per hour winds at 70 miles an hour, just a few miles above that at, what's that, 74? It turns into category one, 12 hour blast. Wide out on the map here for you, going right over Afghanistan. And you just need to start putting all these pieces together that with the weakening magnetosphere, our jet streams are wandering. It's going to continue. And the media, here they are, covering up the grand solar minimum again. Look out for the atmospheric river changes. It's because of global warming and CO2. But in all actuality, it's because of the increasing, intensifying eddy grand solar minimum that we have entered. And now we're going to have to deal with it. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And if you do have a chance, jump over to trueleafmarket.com. They also have grow guides there. So if you're really interested in trying to even start and foray into growing something for yourself, there's full-on growing manuals for free in there. Just use the Adapt 2030 link below. That'll get you to the right spot and have fun. 